first thing. Um, I um, when I was in high school, I did four years of drama, you know, 10, 11, 12. So I have sort of a theatrical metaphor for the whole of today. So here's my first thing. When I think of studying, I think of rehearsing for like a performance or something like that. Right? So my first question to you is, um, well, I went backwards, sorry. My first question to you is, what's special about studying maths? Okay? Um, studying different subjects, they're not all the same. Okay? I want you to do a little mental exercise for me. I want you to put on a little piece of paper, if you've got like a space under there, right? I want you to write the word maths, put a circle around it. And then, in the space that you have around that, I want you to list out the other subjects you do at school. Okay? So, you know, what's the obvious one? You just had English, okay? You've got science, you've got, what else do you do? You do languages, um, you do PE, history, geography, uh, music, what else do you do? Art, VA, drama, okay. Tech. All right, now, here's what I want you to do. I don't just want you to list them out like I have. I want you to write them down in this space, but the position's important. Matt's here in the middle. I just want you to think about, for these subjects, which ones are similar to maths and which ones are different? So if they're different, write them far away. If you feel like they're similar, put them closer in. Okay, I'll just give you 30 seconds to do that, and then I want to compare the results that we get. Okay, so if you think it's similar to maths, put it close. If you think it's very different, put it far away. So here's my question to you. Let's, let's go through this list, okay? English, is it near or is it far? It's, is it far? Is it far? Let's put it up in the corner there, or is it sort of like midway? It's far away, it's about as far away as we are. Okay, all right, sure. Science, where do we put it? Pretty close, like really close, or sort of like nearby? Pretty close, or so right here. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, languages, where do you put languages? Other side, also far away. Languages, okay, PE. Where's PE? Oh, Out, outside the box. Okay, great. Okay. I don't know. Yes? Do people want to put it somewhere else? Somewhere in the middle? Yeah. Put a question mark. We don't have consensus. That's fine. I'm just curious. Okay. History, geography. Maybe I should do history first. History? Okay, yeah, history. All right, sure. I'll put that around. Okay, music. Far away. Okay, um, let's do visual arts drama together. Out, outside, outside. Creative and performing arts should be on another whiteboard. Okay, last one. Technology. Which put that? Put that in close. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Now this is interesting to me. So I should have said English. Um, I think we've got a pretty mainstream view of what the subjects are like. In fact, if I had to put engineering as a subject here, um, it'd probably be in here. And you guys have actually nailed some people, like, you know, professional educators and that kind of thing. They actually lump these four things together and they call it STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and maths. Okay, it's a thing, right? Now, here's the interesting thing. Here's what I'd like to put to you under the question of how to study, right? How to study. I think, here's a, here's a, here's a mind blow for you, okay? I think that, that this is actually all wrong in terms of how to study, okay? I think in terms of which ones are closest to maths, I really think it should be PE yeah. and music, okay? All right? Now, hmm, let me try and justify that to you, right? Sports or music? How many of you play a musical instrument? Anyone? Yeah, what do you, yeah, what do you play? Keyboard, yep. Yeah. Tri the triangle, yes. Thank God for triangle players, okay? And was there another one in the back? That, yeah. Someone's, uh, the drums, awesome, okay. Personally, personally I play the acoustic guitar, okay? Now, shh. Here's the thing about developing skill with a musical instrument, okay? There is one way and only one way to develop skill musically, okay? And that is, to play music, to practice it, to actually get out the triangle and you know, like how should I hit it? How fast do I hit All those kinds of questions, right? You could read about an instrument all you like and you will not get better at playing an instrument, okay? 
finished. Uh, no, and I think, shh, I think PE and sport is in the same kind of camp, right? You want to get good at a sport, you can watch it on TV a lot, you'll get something, but you will not get any better at throwing a dummy pass, right? Or running, or all those kinds of things, right? You've got to do them, okay? And maths is the same, okay? So, that's why, let me, let me rub all this off. Um, that's why in your maths classes, right, you're like far out. We have to, we just, they may just do work, worksheets, chapters after chapter and chapter um, of exercise and that kind of thing. Did you notice what they were called? They're called exercises. That's not an accident, right? They're, they're saying to you that practice is the important thing. Okay. So let me get this um, dichotomy, these two ideas in your head. Okay. Skill versus mastery, okay? Uh, amateurs versus experts, okay? We want to get all of you guys toward this down, this end of the spectrum, okay? It's good to have this, but this is what really happens in an exam. This is the difference between people who do okay in an exam and really do well, right? Now, this, the difference between amateurs and experts when it comes to practical things like music and PE and maths is that amateurs, they practice something until they can get it right. And they're like, cool, I've got it, right, move on to the next thing, right? But experts practice something till they can't get it wrong. Do it over and over again, hundreds of times, okay? It's why tennis players have those machines that will just spit ball after ball and they just stand there and work through the same forearm hit over and over again, okay? To develop mastery, you must practice. 